I want to start um, with my grandmother. My grandmother was married at the age of 16 to a man she didn't know. She had four children in a row, and there was never any concept of whether she might want to work or be in love or any of the things that I was able to take for granted many years later. Growing up in London, listening to these stories really disturbed me. And I also realized that this was still an ongoing reality, of course, for many women all over the world. So I was inspired to write my first novel, The World Unseen, which I later directed as a film. And I wanted to set it in 1950 South Africa, in the Indian Muslim community that my grandmother belonged to. But I didn't want to document her life. I wanted to retell it. I wanted to ask, what does it take for somebody to sense that they may have choices in a world where that hasn't existed before? I was always quite conscious of my wish as a, as a writer to create characters who created their own destiny, who made a difference in their own lives, and characters that we could feel with. Because we change, we're challenged, we're inspired when we feel. And I was so blessed that people did respond to our films. They were inspired by them. And a trickle of emails slowly grew to many, many thousands. Now, these emails came mostly from women, often from repressive societies. But they didn't see the movies as two hours of escapism. They identified with those characters. And they felt that they too could make a change in their lives a step at a time, just the way the characters in the films had done. So often, um, I think we look outside ourselves to find the change that we want to see. We look for a change with government to bring us peace, or we look for a change in tradition to give us freedom. And we forget, we forget the immense power that we all carry within us. The power to forgive an enemy and create peace inside our own hearts. The power to gently but firmly push away a tradition that will strip us of our dignity. Now, that might be easier to do in London or in Paris, maybe. But how difficult can it be in Kabul or Lahore or Jeddah? Well, I can tell you because I have those emails from women who saw our films and then braved the threats of their parents or the anger of their husbands or their own raw fear about no job, no money, no prospects, but who made a change anyway. I want to live in a world where that doesn't happen anymore. I want to live in a world where we are all judged, but by our characters, not by our gender. And there are many times, especially in the comfortable reality that I inhabit, when I feel that we are there, and then another email floats into my inbox, and I realize that we are nowhere near. And that is why I write and direct. And that is why art still matters. Thank you.